Welcome back to the Hot Tip Best Daily Pick Show for NFL Saturday, Week 15. Got two games going on today, one pick on today's card, and honestly, I love it. So let's just jump right into it. I'm In the game we're taking a look at for Saturday's slate, the late one, Patriots taking on the Colts. Patriots come into this game 9-4 and four on the season. The Colts are 7-6, and six, and both these teams have been pretty hot the last few, uh, last few weeks here. Obviously, the Patriots winning seven games in a row, Colts winning four of their last five. And, you know, for this Patriots team, it wasn't a great first season without uh, Tom Brady at the helm, but they have really turned it around. You know, the the game on Monday Night Football against the Bills two weeks ago um, it was a, a, I don't want to say impressive win. It was just a crazy game in general. Um, but, you know, Mac Jones, outside of that game where he really couldn't pass the ball at all due to the weather, has looked very, very good. 2,800 yards on the season for him, 16 touchdowns. Kendrick Bourne has been his top receiver, leading the team with 623 yards this season. And, you know, the Patriots are one of those teams that always has a good five guys up front. Their offensive line is, again, one of the best in the league this season. Damian Harrison has definitely benefited from that, rushing for 754 yards. He is questionable for this game, um, but Stevenson has been a good rusher when he's needed to rush the ball at times this season. And offensively, they can score some points, 26.9 points per game. But they're going up against a, a Colts defense that, you know, has not been horrible by any means. And offensively, the Colts have been good, too. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, their only loss here in the last little bit came to the Bucks, which is not a bad loss at all. And Carson Wentz, well, <laughs> it's hard to say. It's, it's hard to say what Carson Wentz is. He obviously isn't playing amazing football, but it's at, been enough to get the Colts some wins here in the last few weeks. You know, he's looked careless with the ball at times, but he still has 2,900 yards on the season, 22 touchdowns to go with that. So it's not like he's been a bad quarterback by any means. Um, offensive line for this Colts team has been sprong, strong despite some injuries this season. Obviously, Michael Pittman Jr. leads the team in receiving with 882 yards. Um, Jonathan Taylor, Nike Himes have, have been, you know, the two standout running backs here in this room. 1,300 yards for Taylor on this one. And, you know, offensively, they're averaging 28.5 points per game. These are two offenses that can score some points, which would make you lean under going into a game like this. But these two defenses have also played, you know, very, very good um, defensively for the Colts. They've only allowed 21.8 points per game, which, you know, might not be the best in the league. Um, but based off the the teams that they've played off of their opponents, it is actually pretty strong what they've been able to do. They've held teams to 5.58 yards per play. And really, they, they found ways to stay in games and they sit here, you know, hopeful to, to go and make a push and and get into the playoffs. Um, you know, they're obviously in a great position at seven. Well, I don't know, a great position. They're in a decent position um, being seven and six at the moment. The Patriots, on the other hand, though, their defense has, you know, very much improved from what it was last season. Obviously, all of the opt outs in 2020 really did hurt this defense. Um, but this season, you know, only allowed 15.4 points per game. They're only allowing 5.04 yards per play. And honestly, this Patriots team is just one of those teams that is very, very hot right now. Sometimes in the NFL, you just get those teams and in. And honestly, you can kind of say that about both these teams. The Colts have, you know, been pretty good, too, in their last few games here. And this one, to me, just feels like it's going to be such a defensive battle. Um, you know, there, there's two good teams on really both sides of the football. I think, you know, coming into this game um, on a Saturday in prime time, they're both going to be ready to play, both going to be prepared for this game. Um, and really, for both of these teams, this game would be a huge win to add to their resume, you know, as we push closer and closer to the playoffs here um you know the patriots obviously fighting for a one seed the colts obviously fighting just to get into the playoffs um and i really think it's just a defensive battle through and through so give me the under 45 and a half here for patriots colts that is it for week 15 saturday nfl slate if you want to see more college football nfl college basketball nba nhl ufc action head over to hottobest.com take a look at the computer model picks up on the website also if you're not gonna follow me at hottobest chris on twitter and instagram make sure you follow me there so you don't miss out on any future content as well as on the best stamp app where you can get early access to all of the picks the second i record each episode also, follow the Hot Tibet's main account on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok to stay up to date with everything happening there. As well as if you're watching here on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. And most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on for Saturday's NFL slate. And thanks for watching today's show. I will see you guys tomorrow.